In this video I want to look at the set operations of union and intersection as they act on uh, sets defined by intervals. So we have two basic um, operations that we'll be talking about. One is a union. Uh, we write union with this uh, union symbol, A union B, and that means the set of all values that are in at least one of the sets. And secondly we have an intersection and that's uh, written with this upside down symbol, the cap. Um, that's the set of all values that are in both of the sets. So let's look at an example and try to use that example to illustrate the principles. I have a set A and it's defined as the union of three intervals. And I have a second set B and it's defined as the union of two intervals. I find it helpful to think about the intersection and union of sets by first drawing a picture of my sets and so we'll start by drawing a number line. So we draw our number line. And what we'll do is we are going to represent each set. And um, I'm going to represent them with colors. So for example, my set A, um, let's see what its endpoints are. We can put 0 in. Um, you know, maybe this is negative 2 negative 4, trying to keep these roughly equally spaced, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10. Um, that will give me uh, one of my intervals, and I need to get up to 6 the other direction. So 2, 4, 6, 8. All right, so there's um, some values on my number line. And let's make our set A. Let's do A in purple. All right, so the set A has an interval negative 10 to negative 2. Uh, negative 2 is included, so we'll fill that in, and that is our first interval of A. Uh, then A has a second interval that goes from 0 to 4. 0 to 4, and neither point is included, so we leave them open. And our third set is 6 to infinity, so we start at 6 and we just go forever. All right, so now let's think about our set B. We'll choose a different color, and I'm going to choose B to be orange. So we're going to go, B goes from negative infinity, so negative infinity and stops at negative 2, and not including that endpoint. And second interval that starts at 4, and ends at 6. So we start at 4 and we end at 6 and 6 is included. Alright, so let's now think about what our sets mean. A union B is a set of all values that are in either A or B, at least one. Um, so let's choose another color and let's start on the number line uh, those values. So I think I will use um, pink. We'll color it right on the number line. So all of these numbers, negative infinity up to negative 2, they're in a set. And I need to look and see should I include this endpoint or not. So I've got points in both, sorry, I've got points in A, I have points in both, and um, at negative 2, I am in the set A, so we're going to include that point. Now we encounter a gap. From negative 2 to 0, there's no point, um, and starting at 0, well, we discover we have an interval beginning. So all the way until I get to 4. Well, what about 4? Well, 4 is not in either set. So I need to leave a hole in my set. And then we keep going because we have our set B continuing. And it goes all the way to 6. And what happens at 6? Well, 6 is included in B but not in A. So it gets included Oops, it didn't change color. 
So we continue and then we keep going forever after. Now this point at six, we're not going to break the interval because we actually have one big interval here. My union has a set minus infinity to minus two. We never include infinity, but uh, we do include the number negative two. The second chunk of our set is the interval from zero to four. We don't include either endpoint. And then union, uh, our last interval starts at four and goes forever. And so we have four to infinity, and that's my union set. My intersection is looking where the two sets overlap, where they both have values. So let's see what, what happens there. Uh, I'm going to again choose another color. Let's maybe use brown. And so we are going to think about the set where they both overlap. So anytime there's just one of my set here where I have just B, uh, that's not in the intersection. But between negative 10 and negative 2 it is. And let's be careful about the endpoints. A negative 10 is not in A, so we don't use that. Um, negative 2 is not in B, so we will not use that. And so this first interval of the intersection has open endpoints. All right, next, we only have A, so nothing's going to be in the intersection. Now we have only B, and at the edge, neither one is included. At 6, neither one's included. Or one's included, but not both. And uh, finally, we have just A. So my intersection for this particular problem is just one interval. A intersect B is a single interval starting at negative 10 and going to negative 2.